vice president of the Association of Trial Lawyers of America, who used to be called ATLA. And uh, I was vice president uh, the day 911 occurred. And um, in the days following, no planes were flying. Uh, and we were contacted by American Airlines and United Airlines, and they needed some legislative relief because they were not insured to fly into buildings. Uh, and they approached our organization because they knew we always fought to keep the courthouse doors open. And uh, in the days following 911, we came up with an idea that there should be some limited protection for the airlines, but all of the families should be protected. And we came up with the idea of a victim's compensation fund for all the victims of 911. And I played a major role in recommending that all of those families be represented pro bono uh, by lawyers throughout the country. And we proposed that idea. It was enacted into law, signed by the President of the United States on the 24th of uh, September, just a few days after 911. It's probably the quickest legislation in history. And when I was president of ATLA, uh, we concluded the program. Over 1,000 lawyers volunteered for free to represent victims of 911. And we recovered several billion dollars for them. And they were able to move on in their lives. So, you know, when I reflect back, uh, uh, that to me, it was an opportunity to have a, a huge impact uh, on a lot of families. And I think it was a wonderful day for the legal profession. It was the largest uh, pro bono program in the history of the United States. So I kind of like a big challenge. Uh, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them, but you, you can really impact society and make a big difference.